So, you recently learned the ease in and ease out keyframes, and you've been slapping it on every animation ever since. Stop doing that. Stop it, please, stop it. Let me tell you why. But first, who is this guy on your screen? I'm Timon, the guy behind Premiere Basics. Nice to meet you. Jordi can't be here today because he's currently working on a project somewhere on an island. I'm not kidding. So, I'm really happy to talk to you guys today. Keyframes, we all love them, but why should we stop easing them? When using linear keyframes in an animation, there will be no change in speed during the movement. The movement will start and stop harsh and direct, and sometimes that's exactly what you need. So, we have this linear animation here, and when you ease out the first keyframe, the animation will start slowly and speed up gradually. If you expand the position property, you can see the curve of how the animation goes. The higher the curve, the faster the animation. By pulling on this lever, you can adjust the curve to make it goes slower or faster. If you right click on the second keyframe, you can choose the ease in keyframe. With this one, you can make the animation stop smoothly. If you set both keyframes to ease out and ease in, you get an animation that starts and stops smoothly. A common mistake is that people always ease their keyframes, even when it's not even necessary. For example, when you want to create an impact, you want the keyframes to be linear. Now let's take a look at this white ball on the pool table. This animation has to be linear and that is because it needs to stop instantly to simulate an impact on the yellow ball right here. Otherwise it would look a little weird. You know what's also weird? Not checking out the advanced Premiere Pro editing class on Skillshare. You will learn even more about keyframes, but not only that, you will learn everything from pancake editing to advanced text graphics. Also included are awesome masking techniques and even audio mixing with sound design and everything. By the end of the class, you will have a full understanding of Adobe Premiere Pro and this eliminates technical challenges so you can focus on the creative side of editing. The reviews are really positive as well. And on top of that, you can get one month of free Skillshare if you're new to the platform. Definitely check out that link down below. And now let's get back to animating. Another example, when you're animating something that starts off screen, like this subscribe button, you see a lot of people creating an ease out and ease in keyframe. That will make it smoother, right? Yes, but you don't have to make the first keyframe ease out. Because the animation starts off screen, you want it to come in at a consistent speed and then make it slow down gradually. So all you need to do is make the last keyframe ease in. Now let me show you an example when you do want to ease the keyframes. Take a look at this car. In real life, a car will first drive slowly and then accelerate. So you want to select the ease out keyframe. Once the car has to stop, it slows down gradually and that's why the second keyframe has to be an ease in. You can further adjust the curve to choose at what speed the car will start and stop. With all the keyframe knowledge you now possess, you can create your own advanced animations. You can even watch this tutorial right here where you will learn everything about text animations. Hit that like button and as always, that would be 0.01 meters. Stay creative.